With this class 20, you officially debut as a model with basic models management. Thank you. During my trainee days, I recall it was a short, like a small batch of four girls. And it was really short, there was nothing like um, um, physical training, nothing like acting class. What I enjoyed most was the, actually the makeup class. Yeah, we were all trying different looks, you know, using different products, which was so new to me. Yeah. I recall Bond scolding me. The last I recall, was um, um, <laughs> the wall stand. 20 minutes wall stand. During my final assessment day, I actually failed my test. That's true. I had to go through a second round with one of the girls. And um, yeah, because I think Benita was finding me too chatty to you know play playful i was just smiling at her and like hi my name is leila you know that kind of thing yeah so yeah i had to retake it i was doing a, a runway in in some shop there was two levels i remember i was so scared of walking down the walking down the stairs in hills but yeah it was actually quite enjoyable yeah but scary for those who are going through the final assessment, I would say um, be serious and I do hope like every experience is a learning point, so learn from it. You'll get better over time, so don't dwell too much in it, you know. I wish you guys all the best and don't be nervous. Just act like this is just another training day and just do your best. YOLO! Peace! For our industry assessment coming up, um, I'm feeling very excited but nervous at the same time because um, it's where I get to really meet clients and like see how things are like outside of class, so it's quite exciting. The whole point of this, this industry, this job, is to get jobs from clients. I mean, everyone can like me, but if clients don't like me, then what's the point? Like it's exciting because the castings that I'm going for are quite different. Like I've never been for those like magazine or shows, a show casting. Yeah, I've never been for those, so I'm quite excited. It's the first time I'm actually going to meet like people in the industry and nervous because it is still an assessment. So we definitely still have to put in our hundred percent. 200%. Uh, it's also like a last chance for me to prove that I'm uh, worthy to be signed into this agency and like uh, I will put in my best effort for it. Lydia和Dominic的需求蛮高的 
跟呃凯恩有比较比较多的互动。嗯，那其他一些为什么会就是没有接到 casting？ 其实从这几次的 assessment 里面，就大概可以看到一二，像我挑出来讲加乐，他去其中一个就是 fashion house 的嗯 catalog 的 assessment 的时候，他进去还是有驼背的问题。他从我第一场的 assessment catalog 的 assessment 就一直驼背 ，all the way 驼背。对，然后以他的身高要做呃 fashion show 来说呢，这是一个很不好的习惯。其实。好几个女生都有驼背的问题，可是到后期，你很明显看到她们有进步。也有顾客说她看起来很尴尬，你看这边写的是 forget the ball， 不像是一个模特的表现，她没有像模特的样子，可能太安静了。因为我平常可能遇到她的时候，我觉得她也不怎么说话，然后就很客气，很客气，然后很害羞的那种，可能。他的就是表现，卡亚也不太喜欢。你看他的分数是不高的，他的表现其实没有在水平以内。另外一个，嗯，表现不怎么样的 ，Daryl。Daryl 是我们上个星期，其实他已经是接近我们要淘汰他了，但因为 mentor 们都极力的救他，可是今天我们你看收到的分数。都不怎么样，都偏低。他可能就是外形很讨喜，很有活力，可是他表现可能不会到被不破旧。对，如果在我这里，我觉得他的脸、他的笑容都很我们说，嗯。但是因为他自己可能不太会抓角度，嗯，所以他之后就算有。刷，你他可能在 final 的时候也会就是被刷下来。另外一位呃，我比较失望的是 a l i n a l i n 其实在我的 catwalk， 课然后其他的都表现的不错，尤其是 catwalk 就是蛮稳的，然后上手也很快。我们 partner 的 feedback 看起来，他表现没有我想象中好哎、欸，他的那个。妆太淡了，所以看起来很没有精神。顾客形容他的衣服 too sloppy， 他真的穿得太随意了。所以，就算他的表现有达到要求，可是他的第一印象已经毁了，就是他没有他的分数无法救回来。我昨天有收到一侧照片，就是嗯， um, 其中一个 commercial house 他们需要做 group shot， 所以里面就会有 Aline， 嗯、um, ，Chloe、Melanie 和 Nicholas。然后那个照片是，嗯，有几张是蛮可怕，就大家不知道自己在干嘛。然后可能就是他们角度太偏了，完全看不到他们的表情。全场里面大概只有 Melanie 是知道自己要干嘛。Nicholas 其实他是 Academy 进来的嘛，那我们 Academy 进来的，呃，如果表现好的话，以往我们的记录都是如果表现好，我们就会考虑签约。对，所以 Nicholas 的，呃，一路下来的。表现其实我是觉得他很好的，可是他就坏在这几场 assessment， 我觉得他可能是太紧张了。那我要回去再嗯统一一下最后一场的分数，那我们就可以知道，呃，我们这一届最终会签下多少个人。嗯，结束了，我们全部的 industry assessment。嗯，这一年还蛮多的，我们排蛮多的，我排排了可能有六个。magazine、commercial、show， 嗯，还有 catalog， 基本上他们要 cast 的都 cast 了。哦，我对他的那些规定蛮蛮 surprise， 有点小失望。不是 surprise， 是惊吓，是一点都不惊喜。对，不是惊喜。因为他们前三场的时候，他们那个 casting 的台出错，出了一个非常大的问题。嗯，然后这些东西明明是在。i n d u s t r y knowledge 跟 Josiah 的班的时候已经讲过了，对 ，end up 他们还是出一样问题，而且这个问题有时候，如果他们今天毕业，我再把它发去一个真的 casting， 他出这种问题，他是绝对不会跟我讲的。如果我们没有这个 assessment 的话，他们就是错了，没有补到 job， 我们根本不知道发生什么事情。对我看到照片的时候，他们的穿着真的是把我吓一跳，真的好丢脸哦，真的很丢脸，好丢脸哦。那个 assessment 分数。
，出来咯，就是我们要 drop 的人。OK， 我们的标准是什么？八十五。也比去年高，因为我觉得如果他们是要成为一个专业 model 的话，我们之前一直有问题，就是我们自己喜欢这个女生、这个男生，然后留住了，可是 industry 没有 acknowledge 到他的 effort， 或者是他们可能出去的时候他没有 perform，、嗯、然后他就是一直没有补到脚，可能我们自己觉得好了算了，然后给他出，嗯、他代表了之后他不够专业，然后最后还是一样，就是他补不到脚问题。所以我今年。会比平时的那个标准再高一点，而且今年我们花了，对我们今年花了很多时间，我觉得比之前的那个 effort 更多，然后投资进去的 resources 更多，嗯，那相同的我需要你们给我更多东西，嗯、所以我觉得八十五这是基本，你出去你就是需要一个是一八十五分以上的一个 model， 这才叫专业。没有，当然有一些很 OK， 有一些比我想象中好，就是他们呃在。我们这边的时候，就是、正常发挥有一些，或者是可能他们在班的时候不怎样，可是他们去 client 的时候 client 很喜欢，比如说依林，依林就很多 client 都很喜欢他，嗯、他们讲、嗯、觉得他的个性很好、嗯，所以我就一直跟他们强调，我说你们不只是表现，你们去那边就是说要客气要礼貌，人家要喜欢你，喜欢你才会捧你，对，不然的话我对比之下，我有一个差不多的人，我为什么要捧你？对，就这样，嗯，嗯，嗯。Good question. <laughs> you are all on edge. Like you're all like very. I sincerely hope so. I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. For the past week, you have arranged to meet clients uh, for. All sorts of castings for different jobs, including magazines, commercials, catalogs, fashion shows. We have received the grading sheets and the feedbacks from all these clients. They have assessed you based on your performance, your attitude, and your appearance. So, together with the scores tabulated from your internal assessments, including your indoor and outdoor shoot, I have on hand the final grades of class twenty. The passing mark for this year is at 85. For those that made it through, your name will be called, and I will need you to step out there, in front, to receive your com card from a mentor. Can we start with Leila's team? So I would like to congratulate um, Damelin. Yeah, very nice. Sir. And um, Melanie. Thank you, Leila. Congratulations, Pio. Good job. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> Congratulations, Jing Yu and Dominique. Good job. And Chloe. Congrats to Eileen. Lydia. And Hanis. For those that have not received a com card, can you please step out? Your mentors will speak to you now on why you didn't make it to the final. Let's start with Leila. Noel, I think you have made the most improvement out of anyone else. And we, me and the team, we are very, very proud of you. However, there's still some work you need to do before catching up with the professional models. And I hope you don't lose hope because of this. And I. I want you to continue doing what you like and what you're passionate about, okay? Thank you, Leila. Thank you, Noel. Cheryl? Daryl, you have a great face for commercial, but your performance during the in industry assessment did not make our criteria. And I hope that you will work harder 
on all the comments that we've given you. And good luck. Thank you, Daryl. Thank you, Cheryl. Amy? So, Erlene, you were an incredibly hardworking trainee. It was wonderful to be able to mentor you. And I really appreciated how often you came forward to kind of discuss some things that you were struggling with. And we got to work with that, work on that together. But um, I was very surprised. Benita and I were both very surprised to hear the feedback from the industry partners, because I think both of us had very high hopes for you. We felt like we did agree with the industry partners that perhaps you're not ready for this right now. And the same goes with Jalo. I was actually very disappointed because I really thought you guys were going to be really great. But um, so the brief for the castings was smart casual. And in trainings, it was rehashed time and time again that that means tank top and jeans with heels or a body hugging dress. And both of you kept going to the castings in the completely wrong outfit or something that was just totally inappropriate or something that was unflattering. And as a model, the first impression is a huge part of our job, right? That's what, that's what our job is about, is to convince casting clients that, they, that we are the right model to be booked. Um, yeah, and uh, I just think you guys need to work on that a little bit more. There's this level of self-awareness that has to come from within you that can't really be taught. And um, for lack of a better word, you need a healthy level of vanity in order to succeed, especially for castings, to get through that first point. And I think that's something that you guys should work on. And I really do hope you guys try again. Um, you're both very young, and you do have a lot of promise. Oh, Nicholas, you're a very hardworking guy. And I've seen you improve a lot, like a lot. And um, I think it's due to your underperform, uh, underperformance in your internal assessment and uh, also your this week of castings. Maybe it's due to nervousness, but I uh, hope you will overcome it and come back stronger. Thank yeah, thank you. Thank you, Casey. Thank you for five of you. You may take a leave now. Thank you. This is the beginning of your career. This is not the end of the journey. The truth is the modeling world out there is a lot more harsher than, and a lot more cutthroat than what we had here. People might not um, be nice enough to give you honest feedback or they might not help you grow. So I do hope that you remember what you've learned here and cherish the time that you have here. Use your resources well. Um, stay focused, do your job, do it well, be nice and be humble. Thank you, Mentos, for all the attention that you've given to them for the last seven weeks. And with this Class 20, you officially debut as a model with Basic Models Management. Thank you.